Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, if you're like uh, Bill and, and I, uh, you know, and you worked at Kiss all these many years, oh my God, how many times do we play this song? Like a million. How about this one? <laughs> Mike Bivens from uh, New Edition on the phone. Hi, Mike. What up, man? How you feeling, man? Those were the <laughs> days, buddy. <laughs> what, year was can- what, what year was Candy Girl? 83. Man. No way. Yes. That long ago? Oh, my yeah. God. I feel so old, dude. Well, then so do you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Kiss 108, man. Kiss 108 in the 80s, baby. <laughs> How about this? I'm still here and you're still here. <laughs> who would have, I know, right? Who would have thought? Oh, that's funny. And then there's Belle Biv DeVoe, too. How's that going on uh, iTunes? People still buying your music? Yes, man. We we still get the checks, man. It, it feels good. They come every three months. It's a beautiful feeling. You just yes. go to the post office. Do you, are you still here in Boston with us, or have you moved on? No, no, no. I'm still in Boston. I never left. I got a Massachusetts license. I'm oh still there. God, you're like tell. You still shop at Tellos? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I do a little bit of gallery, a little Chestnut Hill. I, I do a little hip step. I move around, man. Do you? <laughs> How about Downtown yeah. Crossing? You still go down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the little little spots in there. I creep in every now and then and just chill out. Yep. Yeah. I'm all through the city, man. Where do you get a good all lunch? Where do you get a Where do you get a good lunch? Bob the Chef still it? there? Uh, it, it's, it's, he's back, nah. but it's a different place now. Yeah. Nah, you you know you you got brothers in Mattapan. You still got Silver Slipper down Dudley. You could you could do whatever you want. You know you got Mice in the North there. It, it's Silver Slipper. Whoa, yeah. You know what? I'm thinking Silver Slipper yeah. for lunch today, buddy. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. You Dudley can do a little Station. bit of everything, or you can just stay home and cook, man. It's, it's easier. So when did when did you guys get back with Bobby? When did that happen? Well, we never really. I think see the misconception with our group is. Because we have four different groups in one, mm-hmm. we tend to we tend to tour separately all the time, and then we try to not to burn out the new edition brand. So then we say, okay, well we've been on tour BBD for two or three years. Let's just come back together, you know, because we take the pulse of the fans. And then when we come back together and do new edition, the press and media always say we're doing a reunion tour, but we've never really broke up from the fact that we weren't together to come back to do a reunion. So it always feels like we're doing reunion part 10, but it's just the fact we're always out working. So Bobby's always um, working with Ralph and Johnny and another group. So it's not like we got back together. We just all been doing our own thing. Well, of course, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we lose Whitney and uh, everybody's looking at Bobby and some favorably, some not so favorably. I mean, he had a pretty rough marriage. Uh, how, how does he seem to you this past weekend? Oh, he was in great spirits. I mean, you got to understand, Bobby has, like, the best personality in the world. I mean, you know, I, I think the misconception with him is that people don't know him. They only know of him. Mm-hmm. You know, this guy keeps his kids with him at all times. He moves, you know, with a, a family of six. You know, he has the nanny out there with the baby, and he's constantly taking care of people. And I think that... um when he's ready to, to address the things that everybody wants to know, I think people would be shocked of the type of person he's turned into. I mean, you know, Maddie and everybody else in the station, I mean, the, the guy lost his mom last year. He lost his father last year. His ex-wife just passed. They got to give Bob a break, man. Give him a pass, man. I mean, you wouldn't wish that on nobody. No. And it seems like whenever they mention his name, they don't balance it out with the good things. They, You know, they balance it out because, you know, He's trying to take care of his child. He's trying to work. You know, we all run into a rep financially. But I know one thing, when he does make the money and he has on even feet, he, he spreads the wealth. Lovely. He takes care of us on the road. He's always buying the dinners and everything. Man. So he's a good younger brother. Talking with Mike Bivens, of course, from New Edition, Bell Biv DeVoe. Um, well, here's the heavy thing. I don't want to lay this on your best friend, but, I mean, People saw Whitney Houston as this angel because she had such a beautiful voice. She marries Bobby. A lot of people blame Bobby for her downfall. Is that fair? No, because over in our projects in Roxbury, man, they taught us to be good kids, man. I think, you know, ever since he's been a child and his personality, I mean, 
let's just be real, Maddie. There was nobody more popular in the late 80s than Bobby Brown. That was the man. You know, you're right. I think people forget. Yeah, people forget that. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was the ultimate entertainer. But in terms of gritty, raw, natural, raw talent, Bobby Brown hands down. Period. Really? As a solo artist, as a dancer, live performer, energy person. So when you put that type of personality with the real Whitney Houston, not the one that Clive made her, the one from Newark where the services was, how can you not see them together? It doesn't seem as awkward to us who live in the community. It just seems a little awkward to people who've never been from the community. Because those two together was the life of any party. Oh, I'll bet. <laughs> I'll bet. So, so what you're saying is, we're talking with Mike Bivens, what you're saying is that Bobby and Whitney were two of a kind and the public looked at Bobby as the bad guy, but in reality, Bobby and Whitney were very much alike. True? They were very much alike because of where they came from. Mm-hmm. When we watched those services, Saturday, it wasn't in Hollywood, it was in Newark. Right. And if you've ever been to Newark, Newark is like Roxbury. It's serious. And her mother and Clive, they made her the artist that was perfect. You know, she should have been that type of artist. It was time for the new Diana Ross. It was time for it. But when she took and walked away from the stage, she was just like a regular homegirl from around the way. And remember, she had Randall Cunningham from the Eagles. She had Eddie Murphy, who wanted to deal with, I think, even Robert De Niro. So she had the A-list stars. But she picked the guy that she wanted. She invited him to her party, and he came in. And they cut up on the dance floor, and she found the love of her life. And I think everyone has to look at it like she chose him. He didn't choose her. This is great stuff from yeah. Mike Bivens. This is out good for you. This is a perspective. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody's been talking about Whitney the last several weeks, and 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 your perspective on it. Is uh, is refreshing. It really is, and, Mike. And I'm I, not kidding. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Now, MTV, VH1, Ebony, a couple of the high power stations called us for the last week to talk. And good friends of mine, I turned to all those interviews down. But the reason when Kendra reached out and said, "Mike, come on the show," the only reason why I'm even talking about this. It's because Kiss 108 was a part of breaking my career, and it's a family station. But if you look through the press, ain't no member of my group spoke to anybody, and Bobby hasn't done an interview himself. He's only sent out two press statements. So the only reason I'm even giving you all this is because you're deserving of it. Well, Mike, I really do appreciate it, and it puts a lot of perspective on it. And, and uh, you know, as I say, you know, you and us, we go way back, and... Uh, you know, it means a lot to me personally, Mike, that you came on and, and gave us sort of this other side of the story. Let me give you a plug. A new edition is performing uh, down in uh, Providence at the Dunkin' Donuts Center Friday, April 20th. So you got plenty of time to get your tickets. Right, right, right. Come through. And, and the tour is great, too, man. And it's interesting, you know, just to keep it light, because I know y'all have that light, fun show. But we've had 12 sold-out shows thus far. Every show has been sold out. And in the last week, Maddie, we allowed the press. We allowed Inside Edition. We let Barbara watch his camera. All of the big national media outlets, we allowed them to come into our building, put their cameras in the front of the stage, and, and shoot Bobby, you know, performance or a lot of stuff you've seen online. We allowed those things to happen. And all we said to them was, if you're going to shoot us live and you want to get him for your stories, just make sure you balance out the story. Good we you, understand Mike. you want to dig up the dirt, but make sure you show them in a good, positive light. And, you know, and, and it worked out for things. You can't control the media, but we were very helpful and, and open our doors to allow them to come into our concert. And it's a great show, by the way. Mike's uh, uh, website is sportyrich.com. And, uh, and for my, tic- is that right? And they can, Yes, and they can come follow me on Twitter at MikeBev. You know, I'm always talking to my fans. It's easy connection. The social networking thing is down. And, and I love it, man. And, and how have you been, man? How's everything been for you and your time? <laughs> We're still here, man. Yeah. We're still, that's all you need to know. We're still, still here. here. We're still that's here. And it's not bad. Not bad at all. Mike, it's been that's great to good. chat with you. Good. Long time no see. All right, Mike. Take care. Good. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Be well.